Hi guys, tonight I have a project life process video for you. These are the cards we're going to be working with. This is an older spread that I left off on a long time ago. I somewhat completed it as you can see on the top left. I have some pictures, I have some journaling, I have some small pictures on the bottom right. Um, I stopped doing this layout and I kind of left it hanging. So tonight I decided I want to revive it and bring it back to life. I'm going to take out the first card. We're going to zoom in here. This was a Jets Kansas City Chiefs game that my husband took me to. I want to add some washi tape to it. So this is the Target football washi tape. It took me forever to find and a sticko football. And I'm going to put those down, but I'm just going to reposition them here because I like that position of it better. And I want to add something to the top left. These are doodle bug enamel dots. We're going to add a few of those to the top left corner just to bring some interest. And I do want to add something else to this. I have these older football stickers in my stash. I kind of flipped through those, but I didn't find anything that I like. I end up finding a tag in my stash that says road trip where I could put the date in. And I really like that a lot. I don't actually write the date in. I forget to do that, but I will do that later. <laughs> these are some stickers from Evalish. I had a puffy sticker that said so cool. Once I added that, I also wanted to add some staples. I add the staples for texture more than I do for holding down the pictures. I ran out of staples here, so I'm just reloading the stapler. And I'm just going to continue with the stapling. And I really like the final result of this card. The original one felt like it wasn't finished to me, so I'm really glad that I added more to it. We're gonna move on to the next card. This card here, I'm gonna take out my pre-printed pictures. I do them on my Canon selfie, and I chose these two, which is the big screen TV that was on the field, and of the picture of the location of where we sat. I have more sticko football stickers, and I'm just gonna kind of flip through those and find Find one that I like. I have this uh, Pro Glider tape runner. I really dislike it, guys. I use it only for a short period of time. It doesn't last for the whole video. I end up going back to my uh, trusty plus tape runner. I find this sticker here that says football, and I really like the way it fits on that card. It really completes that top right hand corner. And then I have these Heidi Swap chipboard stickers. I found this geotag that I really like and since that's where our seats were I wanted to highlight that and I'm going to add an enamel dot in the center. I'm going to add more of that Target washi football tape and I want to do some stamping on this. So this is an older Gossamer Blue Life Pages kit stamp set. I want to use that one that says just a little recap. This is a discontinued stamp set, guys. Sorry for that. It was an old Project Life kit. And I'm just going to mount my stamp. I'm going to use Prima Chalk Ink. I believe the color is dark bark, which is a brown. Just reminds me of a football. And I'm going to stamp it on the tag that I found. And I'm going to add that to the photo. And I really like that little added bit there. I'm glad that I filled in that gap. I'm going to use my baby wipes to clean my stamp. And then I'm going to take another label to the top left hand corner, go back to my Evalicious puffy stickers and add a heart. Now I feel like the card is complete. I'm happy with how it came out. So I'm going to call that done, add it to the pocket and move on to the next card. Now, as you can see, this one has the journaling already on it. Like I said, this was an older project that I left off on midway or partial way. And there's not much I can do here, so I'm going to add some enamel dots. I'm going to add a staple for texture, and I'm going to call this card done. There wasn't much more I could do, you know, just for with the fact that there was no room left on it. Now, if you can see, I didn't add the date to that trip tag that I put on the top card, but I do end up adding it later. 
Okay, we're going to move on to the next card. I'm going to just flip through my pictures, and I love this one of me and my husband. And I'm wanting to definitely use this one on this card. Somebody took this picture for us, and it came out really cute. So I'm going to go to a different green washi tape. This one is from the Joann's Dollar Spot. I just wanted to ground my picture, but I didn't want to use the football washi again. So I just used one that had the same color scheme. And I'm just going to trim the ends. And I'm going to place my picture just halfway covering the washi tape. And I really like that because I feel like it grounds it. Or actually, I end up putting it just below the washi tape. I didn't want to cover the washi tape up. And now I just feel like it has a little bit of a frame. And I have these sticko stickers with these flags for football. One of them says go and one says team. And I really want to use them on these cards. So I ended up using the flags that say go. I was able to fit them around the picture so it didn't obstruct my husband in any way. He's so much taller than me, so it's hard not to cut him off of pictures. And I add some rhinestones from Stamping Up, and I really like the way it came out. It says go on the top of it. And we're going to move on to the next card. On this card, I'm going to go back to my pictures and I find this picture of a margarita that I drank at the game. And I really liked that margarita, so I wanted to highlight it. And I'm just going to round the corners with my corner chomper because I feel like I can get it to fit in the spot I want it to go in a little bit better. And here I go, I change to the better glue tape, which is my plus glue tape, which I like way better than what I was using before. And I'm going to get the corresponding flag that I used before. This one says team. And again, those stickers were from Sticko. And I'm just going to trim the ends, and I really like how that came out. Now, of course, I need to add more to this card, so I'm going to stamp on it. This stamp set here is a foodie stamp set. I got it from Etsy. I don't remember the seller, but I will link it below. It says what we drank. That's the one that I want to use. And we did drink lots of margaritas for this game. And I'm just going to position my stamp on my stamping block. I'm going to go back to my Prima Chalk ink in the bark color and I'm just going to stamp it directly on the card and I really like the way that came out. I want to add something to the right side of that card now and I'm going to go back to my stickers. These stickers are really large but I'm going to cut out some of those words so that I can use them and I decided on the word score. My team which is the Jets was losing and not scoring, so we needed to score somehow during this game, and I scored myself some margaritas, so I was pretty happy. <laughs> and I really like the way that came out, and I'm gonna just add some more of my favorite stamping up rhinestones to give it some interest and fill in that little empty spot. So I like the way that came out, and as you can see, it says go team, and I really, really like that. So we're gonna move on to the next card, And on this card here, I'm gonna use two different pictures. I'm gonna flip through and find the ones that I feel work the best with this card. And I like the ones of me and my husband. I'm gonna put those down. And I found this sticker in my stash that says laugh out loud. It's really super cute and I wanted to use it because in the top picture I'm laughing and actually my husband's laughing and in the bottom picture I'm laughing. So I'm going to use some of the Target, Target football washi again. I'm just going to put some of that down to help ground the photos and I'm going to trim off the excess edges and then I'm going to use my plus tape runner to put down the two pictures. And now I feel like I have a better spot for that sticker that said laugh out loud. I'm going to add that to the center. And I'm going to use my tiny attacher to add more staples because I'm always adding lots of staples. And I go back to the Evilicious Puffy sticker set and add a heart. So I'm really happy with the way that came out. And I'm going to add that to my spread. And we're going to move on to the next card. Sometimes they don't slide in as easily as I want them to. <laughs> Sometimes I struggle. Now on this card here, I already had some stuff added on for when I left off on this, but I wanted to add one more thing. This is a stamp set from Scraptastic. It says this was such a good idea. I'm sorry, but this stamp set is also discontinued. It is from a Project Life kit last year. 
and I'm just going to use my Fiskars stamp press because this stamp is a little larger to line it up and I'm going to do some embossing. The first thing I'm going to do is use my embossing buddy. It's going to help the um, embossing powder stick where I want it to and my Versamark clear embossing ink. And when I stamp this out, you're not going to be able to see anything. It will be clear. It's supposed to be. In real life, you can see it better. And I'm going to use my WOW embossing powder. I believe the color is copper. And I'm going to pour it on top of the sticky embossing ink. And then I'm going to take out my Tim Holtz heat tool. And we're going to heat up the embossing powder. And I love embossing on my project life. You guys that follow me and see my older videos know this about me. And I'm going to show you a close up. Look how cute that came out. I love the copper. It's just so pretty and so shiny. So that was the perfect little touch that I wanted to add to that card and I'm going to call it done and we're going to move on to the last card on this page. Now I had added a couple of things but I'm going to add more. I really like that sticker with the 10 on it for the 10 yard line. It's a little larger than I wanted it but I came up with an idea if I peel slightly peeled up that bottom picture I could slide the sticker underneath it and I'm going to test that out right now and I really like the way that comes out so I'm going to leave it and I of course want to add more to this so we're going to go back to the Target washi tape and that is the football one. I'm going to add some of that. I want to add another football, so I'm going to peel up another sticko football, and I'm going to add more staples for texture. Once I start with the staples, guys, I do not stop. <laughs> so I'm going to add that card, and this page is complete. I'm going to show you a close-up of each of the cards, and I'm really happy with the way it came out. I struggled when I left off on this layout, and I'm so glad I picked it up because now that I've completed it, I'm really happy with the results. So that is the completion of the first page. We're going to move on to page number two. This is page number two, and I'm going to take that top left-hand card out, and we're going to start working on this. Of course, I'm going to go back to my pictures. Just so that you know, guys, I print my pictures on a Canon selfie, and I was tossed up between these two pictures here, but I end up really liking the little one. Visually, it just looks better to me, so I'm going to add that. Now, I rip up this washi tape that somehow got on that card and as you can see the card ripped so I'm going to show you guys how to fix this I'm going to take some of my Joann's dollar spot um, washi tape it's the green with the white polka dots and I'm going to do my best to camouflage that rip I don't want to have to change that card out I really like it it was the only one I had and I'm going to take my corner chomper and I'm going to make it blend in with the card and doing my best to camouflage it. I'm gonna add some staples, and there's still some shadowing where the rip is, so I'm gonna do something that's gonna visually trick your eye not to see that, and I'm gonna add some enamel dots, and I'm gonna also add my infamous stamping up rhinestones. Now there's so much going on in that strip, your eye does not see the shadowing of where the rip is, and it looks like a brand new card. So I'm really happy with how that came out. Now in that white space, I add a sticko sticker. I really like that scoreboard, and it looks really cute next to that picture. Now I'm gonna work on the top left hand of the card. I'm just kind of flipping through different things, and I find this Heidi swap sticker of a heart with the black and white stripes. It reminds me of a referee shirt, so it's gonna work. And I want to add some detail to that go team sign. I took out my Cigna white pen and I'm just going to go down. It wasn't really working well. The edge of the flag and just put some white stitching on it. I wanted that flag to stand out a little bit better and I think I accomplished that by adding the stitching. Now I still think that that top part is still a little too bare for me. So I'm going to take these faux washi strips from Simple Stories and I'm going to add one to the top of the card and just trim off the excess and then I'm going to go back to that same collection and take out a round sticker that has a star on it and there are other stars on this layout so it really helps blend everything together. Really happy with how that card came out. So we're going to call that one complete and move on to the next card. This is just two Becky Higgins cards uh, layered together. I find the perfect 
picture that fits in that spot. This whole collection was the Becky Higgins football collection. I'm going to add some staples for texture and there's really not much more to do this card. It really just stands out and looks really cool. So I'm going to leave that one. Now this one here, I don't want to add anything to. I just want to spruce it up. I don't want to just leave it plain. So there are those stars again. I'm going to add some rhinestones to the center and then I'm going to take my wink of Stella pen and I'm going to put some shimmer on that football and this way I'm going to bring some life to this plain flat doll card and I'm going to show you a close-up of it really soon right here and as you can see look at those sparkles it's really really cool and just the rhinestones and the sparkles take that card up a level so I'm really happy with that now we're going to go on to the next card I'm going to pick my picture out that I want to use on this card and I just felt like the card needed some green so I'm going to go back to the Target football washi and I'm going to add a place to ground my photo and this photo makes me laugh it's another Jets fan because of course guys I was rooting for the Jets and not the Kansas City Chiefs even though I live in Missouri you guys know I'm from New York <laughs> that won't ever change and I just writing here that it's funny because um I wasn't the only Jets place in the the only Jets fan in the place because at points I felt like I was the only Jets fan there <laughs> and I find this simple story sticker that says today that looks really cute and I just want to add a little detail to it so I'm going to add in another stamping up rhinestone and some staples for texture and that's the completion of that card really happy with how it turned out and then we're going to move on to the next card. On this card here, I'm going to pick this picture, this silly picture of me and my husband making sad faces. And of course, the sad faces are because the Jets lost. <laughs> I didn't think they were going to win this. This season, the Jets were really horrible. So anyway, I'm just writing in the notes there that the sad faces equal a loss. I'm going to add some staples. And unfortunately, I lose some footage here, guys. So I'm going to skip directly to the next card. I only added the photo on the bottom and I'm going to trim it. I didn't like the way that looked so I'm going to have to do some serious work to this card. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the ref sweater and I like that because it's super cute and that black spot against above the uh, football scene is just a little off-putting to me so I found this tag that says priceless and I really like the way that looks. So I'm going to just add some rhinestones to the end of the tag to give it a more completed look. And now I'm a lot happier with how that looks. And that ref shirt ties back to the Heidi Swap black and white striped heart I put on the other card. So that looks really cute. We're going to add that and call that card done. And we're going to move to the second to the last card. Now on this one here, I originally thought I wanted to use this picture with my husband putting the thumbs down in front of the Kansas City Chiefs sign. He was being totally goofy. And I added some of the Target washi tape, but once I looked at it, I wasn't really happy with how it visually looked for me. It just wasn't going the way I wanted it to. So I had a change of heart here. I end up tearing up that picture and changing it to a different picture that I like a lot better. Once I add this picture down, I'm much happier with the card. I think visually it looks better. I still want to add the football washi tape, so I'm going to add that right here. And I'm going to add another sticko football to that as well because that one was too big so I wanted one of the smaller ones and sometimes these footballs are tough to peel off these sheets any of my sticko stickers I have sometimes a struggle with and I'm going to put that down I like the way that looks but I still need to add more guys you know I need to add more so I'm going to put some enamel dots down to tie in with the another uh, the other enamel dots more staples for texture and I'm going to call that card done. I'm really happy with it. So I'm going to put it, that in the pocket and we're going to go on to the last card. Now I have two pictures left. I don't like the field picture. It doesn't look right. So I went back to the picture, the goofy one of my husband with his thumbs down in front of the Kansas City Chiefs sign. <laughs> we lost. We were sad. And I go back to my stash of football stickers and I really like that one with the football and I think they look really nice together. I'm going to 
going to add more staples and more staples and more staples for texture. And I find this sticker that says, this makes me smile. And it really does because it was goofy and made me laugh, even though we lost. And I added a sticker that says, this looks harder. This is harder than it looks. So I really like the way that came out. And that's it, guys. That is the final page. I'm going to show you a close up of all the cards. I love the way it came out. Like I said, this was a really tough layout for me. I had left off on it months and months ago and finally completed it. I'm really happy with the results. I hope you guys like this. If you want to see more process videos like this, please give me a thumbs up. It helps me know what you guys want to see. And thank you so much for watching. Bye. Thank you.